People in their 20s still refer to older people than them as adults. When do you think they stop and realize they are adults? I am not an adult. I am a child with a drinking permit. 90% sure McGungle retired the day she sent out James Sirius's Hogwarts letter because no fucking way she is teaching a boy named James Sirius Potter. A boy named James Sirius Potter, whose mother was a Weasley, a boy who is a mixture of Potter Evans and Weasley, raised on the stories of Marauders and Fred and George, and his mother and father and their friends, a boy with a map and an invisibility cloak, and probably no sense of personal danger. Yep, sign me up for retirement. Purple. Park. Grib. Beach. Orange. Beeb. My personal favorite is Puck! I had a dream that you were my therapist, but all you did was call me a bitch. Bitch. Dreams do come true. Three stages of life. Birth. What the fuck is this? And death. 911, what's your emergency? My wife's going to labor. I don't know what to do. Is this her firstborn? No, this is her husband. Not the time for a dad joke. <gasps> He's ready. A box of baby bangles. What? No, I'm sorry. I ordered half a dozen mini bagels. No, shut up. We're keeping them. My blog is not a safe space. I put landmines everywhere and I have no fucking idea where I put them. Please fucking help me. Let's have phone sex over walkie talkies. Bend over. Bend what? Over. Things literally everyone, regardless of gender, looks good in. Suits, lacy lingerie, eyeliner, ball gowns, battle armor. The blood of your enemies. Flannel shirts with sleeves rolled up. Glasses. This post went from zero to ten back to zero real fast. They took the children. They took everything. And yes, but what a shame. What a shame the poor groom's bride is a s'more. Is this the kid's bop version? If it is, I'd probably listen to it. The difference between the artwork of the Lazolfos and the actual Lazolfos models in Ocarina of Time was, and is, still... So fucking funny to me. Artwork, huge muscular lizard man that can crush your head between his thighs. In-game, funny little lizard that likes to scream. Hey, if you can't handle matters, then you sure as hell don't deserve matters. And now, a presentation on thighs. Pros, extra squishy, super great pillow, looking really good in skirts, dresses, shorts, etc. They jiggle, saw, could crush a watermelon, literally anything else. Cons, none, they're perfect, look at them. Today, my anthro professor said something kind of really beautiful. You all have a little bit of, I want to save the world in you. That's why you're here in college. I want you to know that it's okay if you only save one person and it's okay if that person is you. I feel like a few people I know could stand to read this. Yeah, actually, I kind of needed that, so thank you. I was gonna end with the thighs bit, but no, this, this was a nice way to end it. So, you finally arrived. What the hell is that? It's my ass kicking outfit, bitch! I put it down on the grill! You've got to learn how to pick it up too, Link. The Hero of Time has been dead for 100 slutty, slutty years. I'll go to hell! I already exist on a level of hell. Then exist on one that isn't near mine! Let me see what you have! A knife! No! Don't do anything I would do. And definitely don't do anything I wouldn't do. There is a little gray window in there for you to operate. The fact that tens of thousands of Hoylians refuse to send me their rupees is sickening. Grow up! Your face looks familiar. Have I threatened you before? I never considered you a rival. I never considered you at all. Now that's just hurtful. No matter how insecure or shitty you feel, just remember that my muscles are massive and I can punch through walls. Thanks, Daruk. So yeah, I just killed a guy. Totally on purpose this time. I'll just keep on going and try not to think about it. <laughs> oh my god. Been a while since I've done one of these. Today's Space Orc story is brought to you by the one and only the Impala Lord. Check him out on Tumblr. I remember the war with humanity. It was our first and last mistake. The last war of the Dryson. The war that destroyed us. I was barely a hatchling at the time the war started. Barely enough to understand what the politicians were saying. Never mind understand the intricacies of intergalactic politics. <laughs> it was some dispute about colonization rights. Something trivial and unimportant. But something we foolishly thought was that destroying a human vessel was worth it. I remember the first days of the war. The propaganda on the vid screens. 
the pictures of our soldiers on the front lines winning victory after victory, the comparison of the primitive human weapons to our advanced technology. They showed us bedraggled human prisoners after they surrendered, made them read statements of aggression and war guilt for the news feeds. But those vids never told us that for every one human they killed, they killed ten of us. We took the worlds we wanted, then got greedy and took some more. The humans were professionals, but we had numbers. City after city fell beneath our guns. Enslaved human populations churned out weapons for use on their own kind. But even as we broke their fleet at Clizan, sent their ships into that dying star, we realized we were losing. Every world we took, they made us pay in tenfold. They sent assassins behind our lines to kill our leaders. Small units of soldiers to sabotage our factories. We learned that we had stretched ourselves too thin against an enemy that refused to lose. We fell back with nowhere left to go. The only worlds left were ours. I watched as the humans scattered our fleets in the upper atmosphere. The burning husks of our ships filling the skies. The smell of ozone as an orbital lance annihilated a military base not ten kilometers from where I stood. The look of shame as the Grand Council transmitted our complete and utter surrender. And I remember too, the first time I saw a human. Tall and upright, a giant of muscle and bone, the eyes of a predator on the hunt. I remember him gesturing me over to him and the certainty of my death filling my mind. I was a child, but I was prepared to die for the Dreisel, a sacrifice to allow the humans to take their fully justified revenge upon us. And I remember my first taste of the chocolate bar he gave me. The human revenge was total. From the ruins, they built schools and roads, hospitals and sanitation plants. The human engineer brought running water free of parasites to my family's stack for the first time. They inoculated us against diseases the council had never bothered to cure. They wrought revenge with words we'd never heard. Democracy, freedom, brotherhood. They wrought it in the form of human rights. And most powerfully of all, forgiveness. And their revenge was total. Within ten years, human children in Dreisel were playing together on the fields outside of school. In fifteen, they were fighting alongside against the Shulaman. Forty years from the day the humans landed on our worlds, and the Dreisel no longer exists. Admitted to humanity, nominated by Terrans, and approved by a unanimous decision of the human parliament, the sixth species to gain such an honor. The Dreisel no longer exists, but humanity grew stronger. Yes, I remember our war with humanity. Our last and best mistake. President Stephen Azili of the Dreisel, giving a speech celebrating the 20th anniversary of the Dreisel's admittance to humanity. Possible outcome 71. Ending transmission. Hmm. This is but one of the many outcomes the human race could have on our universe. Sure, they brought peace, but at what cost? Computer, keep searching for an outcome where all sides have a happy ending. Of course, Captain. If it takes the next century, I'll find one where nobody has to die as much. Maybe chasing a fool's dream, but humans taught me how to be stubborn. Might as well learn how to use it. Pray for me, y'all. Almost there. Soon? Y'all mind if I... <laughs> I may be trash, but I'm high-quality trash. 
premium trash, grade A trash, the kind of trash your mom would look at and say, should this be recycling? Yeah, I'm that kind of trash. My brother tried to pick up a banana to make it look like he was talking on the phone, but all the bananas in the bunch came with it, and he just looked at me and went, I guess it's a conference call. A++ recovery. Don't encourage him. <laughs> Attack on Titan. I don't even watch this show when I fell out of my chair. Hi, can I get a large lamp? Where do you get Cheetos that big? That's a Chihuahua. Those are carrots. This post is a mess. Do you ever eat some disappointing junk food and it's like, I'm clogging my arteries for this? Things on this site are so oddly specific, yet accurate. So I went to the bathroom at Chili's and it was super air conditioned in there. I was by myself and said, wow, it's really cold in here. And then followed it up with, one might say it's chilly. And I realized this is it. This is why I'm single. I make puns to myself in an empty bathroom. If that is not the biggest mood, I don't know what is. One time we got a new kid in fifth grade and he walks right in and sticks his hand under the stapler and staples his hand and just looks at the teacher and goes, I'm going to the nurse. And leaves! Everyone who died at the Battle of Hogwarts missed All-Star by Smash Mouth's release two days later. <laughs> it's so tragic. He still had so much to do, so much to see. Why do you laugh when you say anything negative about yourself? Because honestly, it's hilarious how incompetent I am. I <laughs> mean, fucking look at me. I'm sick of people thinking deodorant is optional. I'm sick of people thinking that they can judge others on normal bodily functions and that the only way they can be accepted is to wear something that is harmful slash poisonous to your body. Just because some men in the 1880s decided bodily odor was no longer acceptable. Bitch, you stink. You've never been to an anime convention, have you? Okay, but did it need lightning? Her name is Storm, not light showers with a chance of sun. Your toes sink deep into the sand. It is quiet here. It is soft. You're safe in the embrace of the waves. No, bro, 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 bro. That's, that, that, that's quicksand. What? No, the floor's just hugging me. If you fancy, hit that there like button. And hell, while you're here, give that subscribe button a click too. Did you post this with the intention of making us all stop and actually read this in our minds with that voice? I posted this with the intention of putting you in the goddamn dirt. Real friendship is when your friends come over to your house and then you both just take a nap. And slash or flop somewhere comfortable and tumble and not talk much except to show each other some stupid thing you found online. Yep. I feel sorry for this photographer. He tried to make a nice scenic view of a pyramid and this camel comes along all I'm a camel. Is masturbating while smoking weed called master blazing? No, it's called hijacking. Guys, no, it's weed whacking. No, it's called disappointing your mother. Can you explain what Fire Emblem is for an idiot who has no idea what it is? Simplest terms, please. I can be an idiot sometimes. Hey, first off, don't call yourself an idiot. Second. Strategy RPG, where characters can permanently die in-game. Also filled with pretty people that sometimes you can make babies with, who also travel back in time to fight in your army. I mean, it's a few installments. There's some installments where you play as the second generation because the first generation dies. How can you like Seneca when a perfectly good Kagero is right in front of you? One, beautiful red hair. Two, possibly red from the blood of her enemies. Three, damaged sprite is not a- Oh no, damaged armor fan service! Four, look at her! She is a strong independent woman who don't need no alm! And possibly Mila. Ugh, daily routine has basically become coffee, email check, FE heroes, auditions, workout regimen. Pain and anguish from workout! Dinner, make videos, and sleep. Uh, optional. What's your favorite voice acting job that you have had or have? Sorry if somebody already asked this, I don't know if anyone has. Q for Michaela Law's male adaptation of Honey Pop on YouTube. Hunky Pop. Oh, that thirsty fairy, I adore him. I haven't played any of the Fire Emblem games yet. Give me a reason to. <clears throat> Cute girls that turn into dragons. Enough said. Oh, sometimes it gets a little creepy where you can end up marrying and having children with some of the cute dragons because there's one game where you do that and the character looks like she's 12 and that's a, that was always a hot button issue, but the upside is she made one of the strongest children units in the game, so I don't, I don't know. I heard the words, pre-order Assassin's Creed Odyssey and get your very own unicorn. AC Fandom? The fuck is going on with your game series? Who is the goodest boy? All signs point to this one.
Me, after Dark Elf Avatar keeps dying on Skyrim Legendary Mode. I am 100% Dunmer! So what do you think of Persona? Cool story, lovely characters. Not a fan of massive micromanagement. I can't, I can't fucking play this game without missing something. If you must know, I did have a lunch today. I had a lovely bean gazpacho. Your breath smells like iced coffee. Like I said, bean gazpacho. What's your favorite show and or song? Show Bojack Horseman. But also equally hate it because of how well it handles mental issues. And song Losing My Mind by Mystery Skulls. And in case you needed to hear today, you're going to be okay. Keep on fighting. You're a lot stronger than you think. I like how Travis on my street went from fuckboy to comic relief to main antagonist so fast. I mean, two years, but yeah. You should do a Fallout playthrough, but with a mod that removes the voices and you should just fill them in yourself. For the females, I don't know, you're smart. If I did that, every male character would just sound like Patrick O'Borden. Have you seen my son, Peter? This isn't a question, but I am blaming the quality of your videos for my failed test grade tomorrow. You will live with this guilt on your heart forever. I'm sorry, I didn't know that cats had to take tests. North, East, South, West. For some reason, these are the funniest things to me. Like, let's take North and West. Between them is Northwest, but you can go further. Between Northwest and West is West Northwest. But if you go North from there, you go Northwest Northwest. Oh my God, my head hurts. People of Tumblr and YouTube, look at this good boy. This boy can't have treats, sadly. <gasps> Why can't he have a treat? I've gotten a total of 12 hours of sleep in the past week. Is that healthy? Well, I mean, doctors say when you go 72 hours without sleep, you go clinically insane. But, I mean, if you sleep in between those 72 hours, it might not work. Refrigerators are just domesticated winter. Have a nice day. Wait, 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 come back, come back. I cannot think that. How? Dare. Just how dare. That's it. All I got. Spider Man, Spider Man, does whatever a spider can. Everything's going dark. I don't feel good, Mr. Stark. Oh no, there goes the Spider Man. Why does Seto Kaiba, Chaz Princeton, and Jack Atlas seem like a Pokemon that gets douchier each day? <laughs> You know what really gets my goat? El Chupacabra. Where does Captain Hook go to get a new hook? The second hand store. Or you can always panhandle for one. Or find work as a handyman. Well, I really gotta hand it to you guys. I don't care if you don't like space puns. I like space puns. Come at me, bro. Unsure of how to confess your love to someone? Try this. One, acquire several dozen limes. Two, go up to them and drop all the limes. Three, start picking them up, but keep dropping them. The clumsier you look, the better. Four, keep doing this until you have their attention. This could take up to 30 minutes, trust me. Five, gather up all the limes. Try looking a bit sheepish. Six, look them deeply in the eyes and say, sorry, I'm bad at pickup limes. Seven, marry them. Soup that tastes great is super. May I interest you in a bowl of, can you not? Name one fragrance commercial that has ever made sense. What are you talking about? They all make sense. Shut the fuck up! How much can a whale ejaculate? The average whale usually ejaculates as much as 300 gallons of semen. Thank you. You're welcome. The sexual tension when you and your crush are online on FB at the same time and you just stare at their little green dot. And suddenly you know what Gatsby felt like. Ah, shit, he get me. Make it a new password like beef stew. Sorry, password not strong enough. Oh. My God. I hope you're proud of yourself, you asshole. I'm good at math. U plus I equals 69. Wait, that would mean that I equals 59 because you sure are 10. Uh, oh. No, U plus I equals 145, as the atomic number for uranium is 92, and the atomic number for I is 53. Because we got chemistry. For God's sakes, why are all these people so smooth? Oh, my grain. Where do you buy the Dark Lord? At the Voldemort. My friend really changed when she became a vegetarian. It's like I've never seen her before. I sighed, 
so loud my mom asked me if I was okay, and she was two rooms away. You know that there's a theory that no two people see a color the exact same way? Does that mean the color is like a pigment of your imagination? You fucking did it! <laughs> Even that fucking laugh is a fun! I hate you all!